Hello, I am Dahl. Welcome back to Gravity Rush 2. Continuing the talking to people inside missions before the main story. Which it is good to not ignore all this stuff in this game like that. Well, it, well, yeah. It's good to do that before main story, considering a lot of the conversations with people kind of gives you more context of what's going on in the main story. Plus you just miss, in the side missions, you just miss like nice moments between characters. Like you could very easily just skip past that moment between Cat and Raven that I did last recording session when they went on the mining trip together. Spin, spin, spin. You again. Heard a rumor from some people coming off the boat. A unit inside the garrison went missing after going out on a special mission. No idea what it was, but maybe it has something to do with the need for all those miners. Seems like there's no good news around here. Alrighty. So now that it clears up this part of the, the city. Let's go down. Uh, wages of fear. I am... Holy shit. I, I am reading that, right? Yeah. Come on, cat, you can stabilize. There we go. What's that? Uh, yep, I was going to say. And, oh, it's that newsboy paper reporter. Hey, what story are you working on now? Any hot scoops for your paper? Uh, Actually, I'm no longer a reporter with the paper. You know how it is inside a big or organization. I need to spread my wings. So I went freelance. When you say spread your wings, do you mean you got fired? Well, that's another way of putting it. But it all worked out. My pen seats justice. No matter the danger, I will expose the most dangerous of evils. Uh-huh. And what's the evil? The scarabs, of course. This town is under threat from a scarab menace. I need a dramatic picture of the scarabs to show everyone how much danger we're in. And you're going to risk life and limb to get that picture? Oh, I was hoping you'd be the one risking life and limb. My weapon is my pen. I'm writing hand... If my writing hand here were to be injured... I kind of saw where this was going the moment we started talking. Oh. It was my lucky day. That scarab showed up at the perfect time. Get your camera ready. We need a picture. I guess it's a, at least lucky no one else is around. Time to snap a dramatic picture of that scarab. Yes, make sure there's plenty of drama in it. If he wants dramatic, I better get him close. Hello. Yeah, look at the lighting. Hell yeah. Now can I kill it? Yep, no. Oh, spooky monster.
And suddenly a person. Check this out. One scarab? Kind of lacks drama, don't you think? There was only one scarab to take a picture of. What do you expect? If only there were more, we could snap the greatest picture of all time. Oh well, there aren't. So I guess we can call it a day. Wait! Now's your chance. Snap a picture. Don't you think we should do something to stop them first? Just take the picture, then stop them. Come on, you don't want to miss the shutter chance of a lifetime. More than one scarab, eh? Come to me. Here's a perfect spot, Stan. Whoa! That count? Yes, it did. Four in one shot? Oh boy. This is not a place to be standing. There's three. Can number four show its face? Whoa! Hey, shit. Let's stand over here. One, two, three. Fourth asshole's not paying attention. I had to stand in the center here to get all of them. There's three. Oh, there was three. Oh. Bam! Haha! <laughs> now to kill him. Oh, he tried evading, but failed. Back to the reporter. Whoa, holy shit. Not quite. Not quite what? Don't you think it's dramatic enough? Not without someone under the threat to convey the menace. I'm not gonna stand around taking pictures, taking a picture when someone needs help. It's for the greater good. We need to show the world what's happening. Unbelievable. And what if that person gets hurt? I'm done helping. Wait! Ah. Huh? Huh? 
There we go. Our picture. Hold on, I'll take him down. No, lead me to the scarabs. What? Take a picture of me running for my life. I need this picture no matter what. Wow, I didn't know he had it in him. Wait, you need a picture of someone getting attacked, right? Then how about a picture of me getting attacked? Hurry up and hide. You, your sacrifice won't be in vain, I promise. Tripod. Boop. Hits me. Oh no, Nevi. Oh no. Got the picture. It's overflowing with drama. Now to take care of these Nevi. Oh, trip me. Game needs a lock on camera, damn it. It's weird, because Gravity Rush 1 had a pretty good lock on. Do I need to, like, completely turn off motion controls? That's what's fucking with it? I really wish the PlayStation would drop that shit. Hopefully they will. Five. Surely they will know no one fucking uses the stupid motion controls. Unless very few games use it fun in a fun way. Alright, the horror. The suspense. This picture is destined for the front page. For years I've been waiting for my chance. The first time I I was stopped by glory by a cover-up. The second time I pursued a false lead. But now everything is coming to fruition. The world shall know my name. Uh, I think I helped a bit. Of course, great picture, isn't it? I can't just sit around. I need to write this up and deliver the story. Okay. The name's spelled K-A-T, okay? <laughs> oh, well, who cares who gets credit for what? As long as he's happy and makes the front page. The important thing is letting everyone know this, about the scarabs. I'm looking forward to the article. Wonder how people will react. There's the person we want to talk to. Watermelon. Oh, photo item. Anyway, okay. I already checked with Banga. Gone missing. The garrison soldiers just showed up in Banga and Elguna. They hauled some of us away. What are they doing with those people? If only there was something we could... Me and Raven are going to have a talk with the council. We'll find out what they're after. For now, don't do anything hasty. And then the person was down here, I believe. I mean, I was right that they were down. Holy shit, they're way down there. We're going to the depth. Okay, fine. Hello. Hey, it's that delivery man again. Wait, what's that awful smell? Ugh, what the? It's uh, horrible. Don't I know it? This is going to be a fun delivery. This isn't going to be a fun delivery to make. You can't deliver this. Think of the poor person on the receiving end. You might just kill them. What's inside this thing? A delivery man doesn't ask questions. Just so we're clear, I'm not helping you with that. But you're the only one I can ask. We're already, we've already lost five delivery people to this thing, and I'm fading fast. You can at least use your fancy powers to avoid lifting it directly. Hey, if you need to set it down and take breaks, that'll work. It's pa we've packed it tight, so it should, shouldn't break on, break on you. We haven't missed a delivery yet. I'd hate for this to be the first one. Uh, are you okay? Your face is turning green. The receipt is a cer the recipient is a servant up in one of the Halvinia mansions. His quarters are next to the mansion. You can't miss him. Please, I can't hang in. Wait, how did I end up taking this job? 
pick up the stinky box. Okay, so deliver this to the servant and up and lay heaven here. Ugh, I'm dying. I'm gonna need to take breaks. <laughs> While holding the stinky package in Station Field, Cat will begin to have trouble enduring the stench wh wafting from it. And her endurance gauge will rise. When the gauge maxes out, Cat will pass out. Press circle to drop it and move away to catch your breath and reset the gauge. To avoid harm to the town and citizens, don't drop it in high place from high places. Um, grab a gauge and you'll make your ah. We're gonna go to the top of this tower here and drop it. Back up. Probably should stop here. That's probably the whole point of this building here. Unless there's something closer, right over here. Woo! I guess that too. But we're already this far. Come on, come on, come on, come on, land. Drop. Alright, next destination. Uh, probably follow the gems. Anywhere to climb? I guess that building. You gotta shorten the distance between me and Le Havina. Havina. So then, my next destination would have to. Be pretty much the park. I hope I can make it. I'm pretty sure the game is going to allow me to drop it and then chase after it. A box of stinky cheese. I picked up the bench. What? <laughs> Wasn't even close to it. Should be good at this point. Ugh, I feel so sick. No, I'm almost there. I'm fading out. The world is going so dark. Rich people actually give a shit. You okay? You fell from the sky there. The smell must have knocked me out. Wait, where's the package? Package? Sorry, don't know what you mean. I was delivering a horrible smelling package to someone in lay, lay heavy now. I don't know if it's the package, but I filed a smelling boat past here a bit ago. 
That must be it. Did you catch a whiff of where it was heading? I think it was going to Fort Bismalia. Bismalia? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Just had to end up at Bismalia, didn't it? Well, of course this couldn't be an easy mission. Please, please, please don't shoot me. They shouldn't, considering they're expecting me to be there. In terms of main story. Wait. The guns aren't going off. Probably because they're all passed out from the stench. package took them all out? What happened here? The smell. Oh, the smell. What's going on here? Guards! This was your doing. You brought that thing here, didn't you? No, it wasn't me, but, um, I'm sorry? I need to grab that package and run. No, they want me to fight. Going down. <sighs> this thing is causing a ton of trouble. I need to hurry up and wash my hands of it. The big challenge here is going to be the gauge. Oh no, they picked one up. Nice. Lighting shift. Excuse me, pardon me. Crushing everyone with my gravity powers. Drop the box. Pick up the box. Here's your damn stinky box. Holy shit. Here. Here's your package. Please hurry up and take it. Oh, that smell. Mom's pickles. They came. You mean to tell me that's food in there? Oh, the way it tingles the senses. Mom always made the best pickles. You just made it in my day. She must have sent sent me something to lift my spirits. Oh, Mom, thank you. Thank you so much for getting this to me. You're welcome. Not cheese, but pickles. I was right, that was food, though. Pickles, you say? Well, you've done a fine job. Maybe I should take the opportunity to develop an odor sealing wrap for the future. That sounds like a great idea. I never want to smell pickles again. But they sure made the guy who got them happy. Maybe this is what being a delivery person is all about. <laughs> really? They're putting one of these here? With the warm feeling in my heart and a desperate need for a shower, I returned to the Benga settlement where everyone gave me a wide berth. <laughs> yeah, you won't be complaining about smelling like the animals now, huh? A pot photo item. I think that does it, right? We gotta go all the way up here, which actually kind of works out because that's along the path to Bismalia. Yeah. So sweet. 
In fact... Let's just fly up there now. Or, you know what? To save time, it's already been 25 minutes. We'll just manhole cover. As much fun as it is to fly around this world, we're going to save a little bit of time here. Really, it's falling around this world, but hey. Same difference in this context. Go! Uh, I think they're over here. Okay, okay. The old stuff on Alright, now I shall end this pot here. We'll continue the main story in the next part. Unless a gravity distortion pops up. But that probably won't happen. Thanks for watching. Check back later for the next video. Bye.